The Millie's tournament is in honor of a uh, fallen Army Ranger, uh, Scott Millie. He was killed in action in 2010. We as the rugby team, him being one of our alumni, created a tournament in which all the surrounding rugby teams from the general area come in and have this rugby tournament in his, in his honor. So this is a delight. Thank you for coming from the bottom of my heart. And uh, tonight you're a toast to Scott Millie. It's both a men's and a women's tournament. Uh, this year there are 21 men's teams and nine women's teams. There's playoffs, then semifinals, and finals. So we can play up to five games, which is, uh, they're only 15 minute games, but once you're playing five games, it's, uh, it takes a lot out of you. Every year it's the most well attended uh, rugby tournament in the Northeast uh, by far. And it's a national qualifier for uh, nationals and uh, for USA Rugby. The uh, Millie family comes there and uh, serves food to the general public and it's, it's great to see them and uh, shake their hands. It's an incredible experience. It's more about the camaraderie. It's one of those sports that just brings everybody together. It doesn't matter what background you have. It's all inclusive. Anybody can play if they have the will. I would say it's a combination of soccer, football, and hockey. Because you got the, the hitting for football and hockey, and then soccer, it's just, it's so much running. If you get the opportunity to try rugby, I, I can't say you'd go wrong. It's one of those sports, you, once you try it, you're hooked. The main reason I come back to UNH is to see this Millie tournament and support them and see Scott's family. It's, it's the, the biggest time of year for us all to get together and, and uh, remember him.